finding ways to unwind and switch off is just as important as working very hard. There was never really a moment that I decided that I wanted to be a ballet dancer. It's always just felt like it's what I was meant to do. I have so many clothes, but really, I have the same variations of the same thing, usually black jeans, black jumpers, black double-breasted coats. When I'm performing I just want to tell the audience something. I want every person watching to walk away feeling something. I'm rubbish at maths but I would like to have been a pilot. I remember being asked for the first time about my race, and it really took me by surprise, just that it was a point that needed to be raised, and then I quickly realized that it was a point that everyone wanted to talk about. I'm quite relaxed, I know it's important not to get too uptight about things as a dancer, but when it came to my voice I realized that everything you eat, everything you drink affects it. I always critique myself but I'm realistic, I know I can do better but I'm never that hard on myself either. My dad was teaching in Kenya, and my grandparents came to visit me there. They brought me to England, and my dad continued to teach for a bit after, so I just continued to live with my grandparents, because that became home, really. I didn't expect to be so tired sometimes on stage. There are moments when you're so tired you could pretty much collapse. I just want always to move people at every performance. If someone cries, that's brilliant. I feel in control when I'm on stage. I'd like to be remembered a little bit for my performances. At aged 11, you're learning taking criticism every day and making it a positive thing, otherwise you will never make it in ballet. I sew my own shoes, I don't trust anyone else to sew the ribbons exactly how I like them. I love acting, but that's also kind of what I love about ballet, the acting. So, obviously, film is like an extension of that, which is amazing, but it's also something I can do a bit later on as well. I feel that while my body's able and I'm young, I'd have so many regrets if I didn't go for it now with the ballet, because that's everything I've always wanted to do. It's not a normal everyday thing to see yourself with fur, but I loved it. Telling the story from start to finish, that adrenaline fuels me and keeps me going. I already don't read reviews, I don't seek them out, sometimes my family will tell me if there's a nice one. Since the EU referendum I've been keen to know more and be a bit more active, it highlighted how important politics is to our lives. I recycle and try to reuse bags in shops but, like most people, I don't do as well as I could. I would love to be a fashion designer but that's easier said than done. I believe that when we die, we die, but I believe people's energy stays behind. It took me a while to process myself as a cat, it's not something you see every day. Even in the early stages of my career I've had to dance with principal dancers. I could have easily freaked out and got nervous, but I think that helped when it came to trying to forget I was doing a scene with Judy Dench. I'm so happy that I ventured out beyond the Royal Ballet, which is my home, and I love it, but I would never have pushed myself outside of my comfort zone. It sounds a cliché but when I'm on stage I'm at my most relaxed, I feel most like myself. When I have the music and the costumes and everyone else around me, that's when I feel most free. Everyone knows that I'm not very nice when I'm hungry. You can't live your life with regrets about not doing something, it's so much better to just go for it. I love to laugh as much as possible. I've always just done ballet, and I feel like I'm sort of living the dream. It's just very surreal for someone who doesn't sing in public to suddenly be singing with Jennifer Hudson. I love all of the ballets that have a really strong story in them where I get to play a character. I don't enjoy the ones that are more technical without a storyline and it's just me on stage dancing. I had to learn about how to use my voice as an instrument, like a muscle in my body when I dance. I had no idea how much you could do with your voice and how much you have to look after it. For a long time everyone had a stereotype of ballet that it was easy and that we were just prancing around. But thanks to the internet, and being able to share live performances and broadcast them to the world so that everyone can experience the ballet, I think it's inspiring people we wouldn't normally be able to reach. For people who know about dance, Cats is a musical that really celebrates dance, and there are so many different styles of dance in this film, too. I was really looking forward to being part of that. Manon still feels like it didn't really happen, because it is such a mammoth ballet and I can't believe I did that. I definitely have been nervous, but often I get more nervous performing with the corps de ballet than doing a solo. There's so much pressure doing a group number because if you muck it up, you've ruined it for everyone. 
I always enjoy ballet when you can read the situation very precisely, when I could tell you exactly which sentence that person is saying to that person even when they're not speaking and just moving their hand. With Juliet, if you read the Shakespeare there is quite a clear idea of how she should be, but with the ballet you can get your teeth into her even more because there are loads of moments when you realize she is growing up. I was a waitress at a local pub, I was really bad with money and it taught me the value of it as I was on minimum wage. I learned after a while that you are the only one who can take care of yourself. No one recognizes me in the street. I'm very proud of the color of my skin and that I'm inspiring people from all backgrounds, but I think it will be great for the next mixed race or black female principal dancer if she doesn't have to be asked about that. In ballet, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're good, it's such a rare thing, so unusual, that the talent will go wherever you want it to go. When I was younger, in my living room, I used to put Cats, the stage musical video on and I used to copy Victoria. When I was younger I used to dance to lots of ballet videos. On stage I have to amplify some of my emotions with my back or make something a little bit more obvious because my audience might be very far away from me, or very high up and find it harder to read what I'm trying to express. When I found out that I was going to be Juliet, it felt much more real than Manon, because Manon is one of those ballets that you probably do after Juliet, so that never really sunk in to be honest. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.